Welcome to another video and episode on my Raspberry Pi 3 in combination with the Pi Extend PLC Programmable Logic Control. This is the Raspberry Pi 3 running a special version of uh, Raspbian Linux. Special because it is uh, adapted to running with uh, the Pi Extend. Then um, the PLC having um, relays with uh, outputs, digital output, digital input, serial connection, etc. Last time I figured or found out rather that several things didn't work properly and let me reconnect before I go on this one here and this one should be here nice and proper that's better Digital input, digital output. Um, last time I figured, or I found out rather, that none of the outputs, despite LEDs blinking, none showed any signal. So, despite the fact that signals on the board and in the software came through. Um, nothing of that really worked. Worked out. So how come? And now I noticed here is another signal interruption. So I figured that um, some of the soldering points that I made is not correct. Uh, that assumption is not correct because everything is soldered normally. So then what is the point? Well a suggestion was made that I should put the whole board on 24 volts rather than 12. Then unfortunately um, this power adapter which I use here for powering this board doesn't extend beyond 12 volts so 12 volts it will be and remain then um, question is how about the signals well right now here I have the oscilloscope with in yellow on top I have digital output blue line is um, digital yeah that is uh, another digital output but towards an LED which I'll, I will show the purple line is serial and the dark blue line is another connection to the relay so with that said uh, everything connected again Let's uh, see for some software and see how things run. Although I don't expect anything will change. So then, um, how are things working? Let's first um, get everything uh, working. So this is to power off, and I'm talking about this window. Starting the VNC server. This is rubbish. Um, starting the um, test tool, which has shown that um, the tool in itself works, but it doesn't influence this software. And here you can see that this is working. 
but once again on the dark blue line no input no output uh, then according to the program I wrote pressing this button should give other uh, things other effects they don't let's get lose it and see whatever I want these to work as well I will have to wait another cycle Okay, I'm going to change the software that these two will be active as well. So, if the button is being pressed, uh, digital input is one. Yes. Then it is only two. Relay zero and hey, wait. Relay 0, Relay 1 And this is Relay 2 and Relay 3 That's odd It does this too So provided this is 0 and this is 1 With pressing this button, I should get these two, not these two. Alright, do it again. Oh, but it says digital off. Wait a minute. It doesn't, that is the whole point right now. It doesn't read uh, my uh, signal. That's not good. This is digital in zero. Once again, I have to wait a whole new um, right digital out, and now I should get the digital zero is off. Wait a minute. Uh, if it is off, how can I get here a signal? Because it's not off right now. Let me check it for digital 1 to make just another difference. Okay. Okay, so aborting the program, input 1, and this for input 1 as well, going, and yeah, then the text is digital zero, but it shall it has to be digital. Oh, it's off. Wait a minute. What does it do anyway? 
No. Okay. It doesn't read it. Why does it, it read it? It did re it did work in the in the beginning. This is odd. So now that the input doesn't work anymore. Not good. Alright, next thing next thing that I do is or I did is take another wire. Um connect the wire here to plus uh, so it is a permanent connection so this should always be one now here I have put uh, in the end this code just to see whatever happens so let's do it. No pressing. Now it's off, that is correct. But what will this do? In. Uh, the other one do. Right. It's the one is off. Oh, that's very weird. This is very weird. So, uh, when I now take a probe, and let me take this probe, and I do connect it. carefully and I will connect it here look at the uh, oscilloscope there is most definitely a signal moreover when I connect this part the grounding part of the probe Right there, it's a very nice signal. So, when I connect it here, it's a nice signal as well. And now it is solely connected to the wire. So now I have the big Yeah, well, it does recognize it. Oops, that is not the intention. So look at this LED. That is the LED of, the, of this wire, which I just added. When I now press this button, That is something entirely different. This voltage doesn't come through. And that's a point. Oh! Aha! Uh -huh. That's another question. That's another point. So let me point the camera to it. It does work. Go with uh, the lamp. It's very faint, but it is there. So this shines brightly. The other one on the board shows quite faintly, so it does work. This one, straight from the power, 5 volts, is 
very bright. So that leaves the question digital one uh, should give on now completely and I'm afraid that it doesn't. No, nope. yeah, digital one is on now. So that was, does work. So how can I make sure that this does work? Okay, that does work. So this comes through very faintly. Hmm, that's a disappointment. But it does work. How to continue with this? Not quite sure. Because digital out is supposed to work. And I'm not getting any signal. Digital out is on the yellow probe. So yeah, I know that this one is working. I can go back to here. Yeah, it is not the best connection, I know. But then again, it wasn't meant to be a permanent connection. Still, nothing on the relays. Nothing on digital out. So that is still work to be done, somehow. Alright, so now I know that a signal barely comes through. A signal comes through well enough. Um, by means of this not coming through signal, uh, these two don't work. This does. And the other things are still a mystery, including the signals. Fortunately, the uh, solder connections are good. So, no worries about that one. 12 volts is maximum for this power adapter. Um, but it should work anyway. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Give the video a thumbs up. Leave a comment or suggestion. Very much appreciated. Uh, you can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Um, please show your support by making a donation via either PayPal or Wired. More information on my website. And you can also become a patron and uh, depending on the pledge, may have your name mentioned on my website and with my videos. All information under this video as well. Um, take a look at my website for much more projects, etc. Um, for now, to be continued, have a nice day and bye-bye.